Hello everyone. So today, let us uh, do something cool with uh, EZBI. Now I have of course a lot of videos on uh, EZBI and I actually get a lot of requests from people uh, to make a video on, on EZBI. And today I want to cover one uh, specific use case. Now the use case is that let us say you are doing some uh, time tracking in uh, <clears throat> Jira. And if you remember, or if you have watched that video, where uh, I have talked about uh, time tracking reports. For example, let us say you are uh, keeping track of the time that people are logging in in Jira. So for example, uh, if you have a time, tra time tracking report for, uh, let us say, all of your projects. So let me show you one of the report. So there is a report here in my EVBI account, which is uh, this one, uh, time tracking, right? Now, not this one, the other one. I, I'll come back to this report. That is what I want to show you. So this time tracking report user by day. So basically what I am trying to do here is I am trying to uh, retrieve the list of time logs or time that people are uh, logging on a specific uh, project. It could be basically you know any issue, but the idea here is to, re to retrieve this number. Now this number, or these numbers, uh, are really important because you may want to maybe send it to your uh, financial team for maybe billing your clients and uh, when it comes to using Jira for time tracking it is not really uh, powerful you have to rely on apps like uh, Tempo you have to of course you know use this information and uh, do something out of it but what if you want to do some basic financial reporting in Jira and uh, let us say you're not using any app like Tempo and you're, you just have uh, Jira and EZBI. So my requirement is that based on the time that people are logging on various projects, we just want to calculate uh, the cost, right? So let us say if uh, in a particular month you have two resources or three resources who spent uh, X number of hours working for a particular project or for a, for a particular client and uh, you want to bill your clients based on uh, let us say that number of hours multiplied by your uh, hourly rate or day rate whatever rate that you have but basically you have a rate somewhere now the thing is that the, these rates i mean you can somehow store it somewhere in jira but uh, usually these rates are uh, if you want to do some serious serious financial reporting these rates are usually stored in a different system. Maybe it's a sheet somewhere else. So my requirement here is that I want to fetch those rates and then use that information in my EZBI. So basically we'll, we'll have a report that will report on Jira data along with the uh, data that will probably come from REST API or uh, CSV or Google Sheets. Now what I have done here is for uh, sake of simplicity, uh, you can actually have multiple uh, sources and uh, as long as you have these multiple sources imported as let us say a measure in one of your existing cube let us say your jira issues cube then you can use it uh, and it works it works nicely so let me show you what we can do for example let us say along with jira you have uh, this sheet i have already let imported this sheet and I'll show you this sheet here. So let me just, you know, try to show you the sheet. I'll, I'll probably zoom in a bit. So basically in this sheet, if you look here, I have uh, the project name. Let us say you have a project called AN. In this case, it is Android and you have this assignee. Now this assignee's rate, this user's rate in this project is, let us say $10 uh, per hour, 10 pounds, whatever, whatever currency per hour, right? It is your hourly rate. And for the same resource, uh, or let us say you have another resource who is working on three, three projects, but the rate could be different, right? Because maybe you have a deal with your client that, because the rates are usually different for a particular client. And the rates can also change with time. So you can also have these rate uh, dates, like the last applicable date, something like that. Let us say if for a particular client, you have a revision in the date for the same assignee, you can actually uh, say here that after this date, the rate is something else. So you can actually store this information in Google Sheet and you can actually build this Google Sheet using again Google Apps Script. Uh, you can also do a lot of these things directly. For example, you can actually import uh, data from uh, REST API, but the problem with REST API is that you won't be able to manipulate it. 
because if you are able to process the data and then save it in the right format, then you can straight away use it in your uh, EasyBI. So let us go back to EasyBI and I will show you the configurations of this particular sheet. So let me just show you how this, how this sheet is configured. So based on those columns, I have the project which is actually mapped to the project dimension and I want to map it to the project level. You can also have within project comp component level, right? But we want to map it to project. So basically in your sheet, you can have, if you have components inst instead of projects, you can use that. Then of course a rate, and rate would be uh, a measure. And, uh, and by the way, I'm doing it within the cube issues. And I want to basically call it as rate. Then assignee is mapped to a dimension called as logged by and the measure or the level is uh, user. And rate date is basically a date, right? So it's a very simple mapping. And you can of course import it if you're doing it for the very first time. And if I go back to my sheet, or not sheet, my, my, my report, I can show you one more report like this one, time tracking user rate cost. I, I'll, I'm, of course, I'm not really building it from scratch. I'm just showing you that yes, it is possible. So remember we were able to import the date. So whenever you import a date, it will be imported here. And uh, as you can see, it is basically imported, right? Uh, it, it is coming from the sheet. Uh, and uh, you can also have the, for example, if you look at this report, you, it's a simple time tracking report. I'm not breaking it down uh, by date. I'm simply saying here that for all the assignees, basically not assignees, sorry, people who log time, uh, I want to group it by project. And if you look at uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, measures here, I'm basically looking at the time tracking hours spent. But the main thing that I'm doing here is I'm multiplying this rate by hours spent. For example, uh, I have this calculated measure, which is called as cost. And I can multiply this rate, which is coming from the sheet. And of course, because this rate is mapped to that particular user and also this project. So this is unique. For example, for this user, the rate in Android project is six per hour. And for Android 2.0, it is 2.0, it is five and so on. So this can be done by project as well uh, for a particular assignee. And then of course you can multi multiply it with your hourly spend. So basically I can see here that, uh, and of course you can then do further analysis, but the whole, the basic idea here is that you can uh, multiply and calculate the cost and you can of course bill your client, but at the same time, this rate is coming from a different sheet. And this is just one example. There are a lot of other examples where you can uh, use this technique and that is why I, I love using EZBI. I think EZBI is, I mean, if you talk about the reporting apps, I think EZBI is the only app that I think you need because it covers almost all the possible or at least most of the use cases. And yeah, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.